What's going on everyone LA Sports back with another video in this video I'm going to be talking about Daniel Jones as news came out yesterday that he was um, the NFC Offensive Player of the Week and deservingly for Daniel Jones I mean he was absolutely terrific at the Superdome in New Orleans it was definitely the best um, start of his pro career um, you can make the argument that his first career NFL start was you know, up there with it, but I think that this was far and away the best performance for Daniel Jones, and I mean, he had over 400 yards, that's his career high um, in terms of passing yardage, he had two touchdowns, although he had an interception, that was kind of, you know, it wasn't really an interception, um, you could see it for how you want to, but in my books, um, throwing up a Hail Mary to the end zone 50 yards away with two seconds left in the first half, um, and, and being picked off doesn't really, you know, equate to a real interception, but it says that on the stat sheet. Either way, Jones was terrific. And most importantly, his New York Giants won against New Orleans in overtime. They pulled off the upset at the Superdome, blah, blah, blah. Jones put the Giants on his back. That's the main thing. I mean, he was terrific in this game, but can he do this again? Um, against the Dallas Cowboys. Um, Jones this season has been very, very good. Um, in my opinion, he has proven um, to be the guy for the Giants. Now, he has to do it on a much more consistent basis. We all know that. Um, but from what we have seen uh, so far from Daniel Jones throughout the first four games, um, you know, my, minus um, the game against Denver, um, you know, he, he's been really good. Um, he's averaging 295 passing yards per game this uh, season, which would put him up over, it's actually 296 yards per game, which would put him up over 5,000 yards for the season. That is pretty exceptional. Um, Jones has been sacked eight times this season. That is two per game, which is, you know, it's, it's all right. Um, but overall, really, the offensive line has been terrific for the Giants um, it's it's been very very good it's been the main reason that Jones has been this good they're giving him time in the pocket to throw the football um, and he has delivered um, when he needs to deliver um, so so far what we've seen from Jones has been promising now can he keep that up that's what we're going to get into this start against Dallas is one of those um, defining moments in Daniel Jones's young career. We all know how important consistency is in the NFL, um, and especially in quarterbacks. You cannot be a franchise quarterback uh, and you know be inconsistent. That is something that Daniel Jones um, needs to make sure um, you know that consistency doesn't run away. Um, so far this season, he's been good, like I said, but he needs to keep that up and. This start against Dallas is going to be one of those starts that really, um, you know, puts, you know, makes everyone really view him. If he comes out and throws for 300 yards against Dallas, we're going to know that he's the real deal. Um, the Giants are going to need to put a good effort ahead. The offensive line is going to have to give Daniel Jones time. He's going to have to be able to hit Galladay. He's going to have to be able to use Kadarius Tony. When Kadarius Tony gets in space, he is very good, very explosive. They need to get the run game going. That opens up more options for Jones. There's lots that needs to happen um, for Jones to play to his potential, which is with any quarterback, really. If your offensive line is not good, look what happened with Patrick Mahomes in the Super Bowl. I refer to that so much, but um, it's a good reference. I mean... You can have that kind of talent but not be able to do anything when your offensive line does not uh, block. So if Jones has his weapons and he has his offensive line playing um, you know, to what they need to be playing at, he is a very good quarterback. He has his legs as an option. Um, and overall, I think Jones, uh, I, I said, I made a video before the season started. I said that you know he was going to prove to be the guy. Um, I was remaining confident that he would be the guy and his first four starts of the season is giving me nothing but more and more confidence that he is going to be the guy that, you know, helps the New York Giants and, you know, gets them going for 
as the quarterback of their future. I really like what Daniel Jones has done so far this season. We're going to have to see if he could do it against Dallas. I think he's going to be able to continue that and continue this trend throughout the season and prove that he is the guy. But you guys, of course, as always, got to let me know down below in the comment section what you think about this. There's a lot of New York Giants fans up and down with Daniel Jones. I can't imagine how you would be upset with the guy or you know, down on him right now, especially after the performance he just put together against the Saints to carry the Giants to victory. But you guys let me know, as always, down below in the comment section um, what you think of Daniel Jones' first four starts of the season. Do you think he's going to be able to keep it up and prove that he is the franchise guy and he's the quarterback of the future for the New York Giants? Do you think he will end up being the New York Giants franchise quarterback? Let me know all that stuff down below in the comments section. And as always, please leave a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. We'll see you guys all in the next video.